Do you struggle reading greens? Imagine if there was a way you could read greens almost like you were playing a video game. Well, now you can. Check out these put view glasses. Now, these are AR. Let me just lift that up for a second. AR, augmented reality. And how they work, they use sensors in the actual goggles themselves to map the putting green. Every bump, hollow, everything you need to know. And then cleverly through the technology in the back, this panel at the back, it can calculate exactly what the put needs to do. And you're gonna see what I'm about to see. Now I've been testing these glasses for quite a while and they are mind blowing. Let me show you some puts. Right, so you now are seeing what I'm seeing. Everything, in fact, even our camera guys, there's Ed. And there's Matt. <laughs> um, this is the green. As you can see, start by scanning the green, say, hey, put view. So you can do it verbally, or if you just bring your hand up, you can bring up this panel and press, hey, put view. And straight away, you'll start to see this almost grid effect starting to take place. So as you can see now on the ground, see those kind of grid shapes? That's the AR tracking every little hump and hollow. I'm going to go a bit closer to the hole. You can see it's starting to move. Look at that. And it's mapping everything, working out all the slopes, all the little ups and downs. So what I've put up on here now, settings, green speed is nine. That's a bit of a guess, but we're about a nine green speed. And here now I'm going to put, I'm going to go as, in fact, I can do that a bit straighter. I'm literally pressing that with my finger in the goggles, it's madness. I'm going to come back to my ball, I've got my target down there, I've got my ball here and it's calculating and look at that, that is what I am seeing. So now I've got the line, I can come low, I can measure it, I can even line my line up with that red line, so I know I'm aiming straight and that's you know, it's about six six inches to the right, that as well. Can look down my line. I'm going to go straight down that red line. Come on. Let's see if we can box the first one. I can also, if I don't want to see the lines, I can actually just lift that up so I can actually see again. And now I don't see the lines, but I've obviously got the line on my putter. Or oh, I can bring the goggles back down. And straight away, I've got my line back, right? So my line is straight down that red line. <laughs> it literally tracked perfectly. I want to try that again. Just to <laughs> make sure that was perfect speed. And obviously, the speed's a big factor in here. If I hit this too hard, it's probably likely to lip out. But that was perfect speed. How cool is that? Now, these aren't cheap. I'll come on to the price in a little minute. <laughs> I don't think you'll see these on lots of putting green straight away. Oh, that was a shame. It's not a magic tool, it's not gonna work every time. But, I mean, that was a good putt, to be fair. Let me go one more. Obviously, grain is involved in these greens. I'm out in Turkey here at Cullinan Lynx. So grain's gonna be playing a bit of a factor as well. But it certainly gives you some good visuals. Nice. Pretty, pretty impressive. Right, let me try a really, really undulating putt. There's some big ones on here. I'm gonna try a silly one. I'm just giving the glasses some time just to work out the surrounding area. Looking out all the way around, working out the green. What's really cool, even if I go on the camera lads here, it's even tracking those guys. <laughs> Keep still for a second. It, you can actually, it's almost like you're, uh, you're part of the matrix. <laughs> So it's picking up height, it's picking up slope. You can even just look all the way around this green. There's little patches there that it's not picking up. I'd probably need to get closer. But it's seeing what's happening all the way around itself. And then, this is a pretty sloping put actually. I'm gonna go new target. So that's locked in. I'm gonna go back to this ball here. Cause this should be a real, real sloping put. So it's 
working it all out. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow, let me just move that ball a fraction. Look at that. I mean, that's a good two or two and a half feet, three feet from the left. Also what I can do here, if I press here, we've got contour lines. I mean, that is quite literally like playing a video game. Turn them off for a second. I can go ideal line, and if I hold that, I can also go animation. So I can actually see the speed that the putt would need to go in at. And that's just gonna keep playing, looping over, looping over. I mean, how good is that for a visual effect? It's literally showing me the line of the putt. We go back on it again, ideal line. Corridor, so that's giving me like, if I go aggressive, I've got to play down the left side. If I play weaker, I've got to play down the uh, left-hand side, aggressive down the right. I've also got aim line, so I can show you the aim line as, a, as an X in the distance, you can see that. Or I can play it as, a, again, a corridor. <laughs> I personally like to have uh, aim point on, I like that. An ideal line, I like to go just the actual line itself. You can also put setup lines on the ground. So you can actually see your alignment and you can choose Look at that. So now I'm not only setting up, I can actually set up my alignment, my club face position. Look at that. How crazy. Right, let's see if this one's going to go in. So I know my club face is square. I've got my feet alignment. I know where I'm aiming this. I'm going down that red line and letting it slope back in. I mean, this is the chance of holding this are pretty slim, but. Do it, do it, do it. Oh, <laughs> but just notice all the way then, it was just a little bit below that blue line. It was always staying just a touch low. I try it one more time. I know I'm nice and square. I've got my feet alignment. I can check my ball position. That looks all very, very good. I'm gonna hit down that red line. I just needed speed for how good is that now it's impressive it really is there is however a little bit of a kicker for these first iteration put view goggles or put view glass they are 12 and a half thousand pounds for those yes obviously they're illegal you know how to use them in tournament play they just be for practice only they're really, at the moment, they're a coaching tool for putting coaches and they're the first iteration. What I'm excited about, the technology, as all technology keeps improving, keeps evolving, keeps getting smaller and smaller. Imagine one day where you just have a set of sunglasses you can turn on and bang, that's everything you see. Guys, thanks for watching. <laughs> Put view glasses, I think, I think they're pretty cool. I think the price definitely needs to come down for them to be a consumer price point. There's, there's a few little bugs in it. You can't go super long in your puts and other things, but overall, very, very impressed. Right, see you next time.